since you are, in fact, one of the greatest Philadelphia Eagles of all time, I will come to you first. I can't stand you too far. Uh, do you agree <laughs> with this NFL executive's assessment of the Eagles? I disagree. Wait, was it you? <laughs> did you write this? Did you be anonymous in I, I put my name on it, okay? I'm not anonymous. <laughs> I'm, right I'm right here. My, I'm right here. So my thing is like, like 15 rounds. First of all, like, that's like when Ali fought, I guess. Anyway, yeah. so the guy must be old. Number two, <laughs> like, what does that mean? I guess we're not, we're not battle tested. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Well, listen, I'll say this. I watched the Chiefs lose to the Colts, right? They lost that game, yes, sir. right? No, the Chiefs lost that game, mm -hmm. okay? I watched the Jets beat the Bills. Yes, sir. I feel like the Bills lost that game. Yep. See, one thing about the Philadelphia Eagles, I don't know about battle tested, but we are within ourselves. When I say that, I mean, we don't beat ourselves. We don't beat ourselves. Good football teams don't do that. So I don't know if I, we have to, like, lose a game or we got to start the game, like, I don't know, down 21 or something like that and then fight all the way back to win a game to make us battle tested. But I just feel like when I watch this team, we are the type of team that's disciplined. We don't make mistakes. You don't see a lot of penalties. You don't see a lot of dumb football plays. We mm -hmm. don't do that. We play great football together, and I don't want to argue with who the guy is because I don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. He, she, I don't know who it may be. I just know this. When they watch the Philadelphia Eagles, we are the most balanced team in football. Mm. I like haters are going to hate. They so. are going to hate. Um, and let me be a he is, and he is scare hater. <laughs> put your name on it, brother. <laughs> don't put my name on the Eagles against anybody. Are you done? I'm done now. Thank you. <laughs> um, two things can be true. Two five. Two things can be true. The Eagles do not beat themselves. And I will not fault the Philadelphia Eagles that they haven't appeared to be battle tested because they beat everybody by double digits. That is not where I find uh, agreement with the anonymous exec. Where yeah. I find agreement is this. The Eagles haven't seen those teams that I anticipate you will have to see to win a Super Bowl. Okay. Like Jalen Hurts said, it's not about being 8-0. He said he's been 8-0 in college and he lost the national championship. Right. I feel you. I was 13-0 in college and lost the national championship. So I get that ah. regular season things who's do that, not who's matter. That to? Lost it? it to Alabama. Oh, Bama. Oh. Uh, no. So I get that that does not matter. Here's what matters to me. Who have you faced? Because facing somebody in a regular season gets you prepared to see him later in life. Guarding Marshawn Lynch does not prepare me to guard LaShawn McCoy. Okay. Guarding Darren Sproles prepares me to guard LaShawn McCoy. Right. Tackling LaShawn McCoy does not prepare me to tackle Marshawn Lynch. Right. Tackling Adrian Peterson prepares me to tackle Marshawn Lynch. Okay. There are things and people and players that you can face over the course of a regular season that will prepare you to face them later on in the season. I understand there are different philosophical uh, beliefs. Me and Torrey Smith, Eagles Super Bowl championship wide receiver, okay. he doesn't believe that you can be battle-tested. I do believe you can be battle-tested. Joy Taylor, what do you believe? Do I agree with this assessment? Yeah, do you no, agree? No, I, I don't agree with this assessment. Just Week stronger. one, okay, I'll, I'll give you a pass in the NFL. It's a lot of weird stuff. Maybe you have young players. You're trying to figure out your new scheme. A little clunky. Well, the second best team in the NFC is the Minnesota Vikings. Really the good. Philadelphia Eagles played in week two and did what? Blow them out. That's kind. Bullied them. That's kind. That's yeah. very nice. That, you know what? Shady's in a good yeah. mood. That so, was kind of you. Some guys are in jail. That was kind of you. <laughs> Because I have some other words to describe what happened in that game that are not so sweet. So we'll leave it at that. They lost badly in week two. Who do the Eagles actually have to play for people to take us seriously? Like, really give me the teams. Because the Vikings would be the other team in the NFC, right? That you would say they need to play. Is this rhetorical or not? No, no, no. This is teams. a real question. Who? San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco's a 500 team. They are, but your record doesn't dictate how talented you are. Oh, does it? Okay, okay. So if you win games, Wait. you're not good. If you lose games, with talent, you are good. If you lose games with talent, you're good. Record, record to me doesn't dictate how talented you are. I'm with you, Acho. Keep going. Keep going, Acho. Acho. If, if, let me ask you this, though. If the, okay. if the Chiefs played the Eagles, you think they would dominate us? No, like not, they at dominate not at all. The, the 49ers? I, to, to your point, to Joy's point, I give Joy, the Eagles... Joy, Joy, I, I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time. San Francisco's a 500 football team. Very talented, but they played in the same league that the Eagles are playing in, and they have lost the same amount of games as they have one. That's right. So while I do think that would be a nice win for the Eagles, is it? Because they're not as good in the division as the Vikings are, and the Vikings got smacked by the Eagles yeah. in week two. So who who do they have to play outside the Niners? We'll throw the Niners in there for cute. We'll throw right. the Niners in there, right? All right. So they, they haven't beaten the Niners, who have four other teams in, in the NFL have beaten, but that's fine. They beat the Vikings, so they have to beat the Bills and the Chiefs. Well, they'll see them in the Super Bowl, right. so we don't have to worry about them. And a whole so other division. Who, who else? Let's throw another. Cowboys with Dak Prescott. They're playing ca the Cowboys, so we'll find out. Okay, New York right. Giants. And the New York Giants twice. Okay. I agree. That's the, those, are, those are the teams I have on circled on the schedule that would be wins that would be convincing for whoever needs to be convinced. Right.
There's not that many great teams in the NFL to, to, to put this battle-tested theory to the test. They beat the Vikings badly in week two. The Niners are the other team in the NFC that you might throw out there, and they're a 500 football team. So you're really giving a lot of grace to the Niners in this space. You're giving more grace to the Niners than you are to the undefeated Eagles. That's Absolutely. bad math to me. I'm not great what at math. I can admit I'm not great at math. <laughs> me neither. But that is a lot of losses to a team that has no losses to say you got to prove yourself in that game. Right. To me. That sounds crazy. To me too. Yeah, but again, I think it goes back to the idea of standing the test of time. And the Niners, look, the Niners have some baffling losses on their schedule. Not to make this a Niners segment, but the Niners... <laughs> have made runs into the postseason. The Niners have proven that they can be a team that's there at the end of the year. They were that team last year. They were that team a couple years ago. We know that their talent goes pound for pound with just about any roster in the league, including the Eagles. My thing is, look, here you go. When you talk about battle-tested, and I, I'll, I say this every time we talk battle about the tested. Eagles. Every time we talk about the Eagles, I say this. There's nothing they can do about it. It's not their fault that this is the schedule that's in front of them. But, but look at this. The Chiefs have played three teams that are leading their division right now. The Bills have played three teams that are leading their division, and that doesn't include the Dolphins, who we all think are on the short list, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. The Eagles have played five of their eight games against teams that are in last place right now. And they're going to do it again on Monday night. They're going to play the Commanders again, who are in last place. What, what does that say? Yeah, part of the five reason they're of in last, eight. Five, five of eight. Part of the reason they're in last place is because the Eagles already beat them. The Eagles also... Here, here, here's what I know about the Philadelphia Eagles. They are hell in the second quarter. Oh, my God. Nobody's better. They were up 24-7 against the Vikings at halftime. I got what you. happened after that? Nothing. Nothing. Nobody scored the rest. Jalen Hurts, after the game, said, we left a lot of money on the table tonight. What happened against Dallas? They were up, what, 20-3 to at halftime? They wind up win winning that game 26-17. They let the Cooper Rush Cowboys rally. Jalen Hurts says, we left a lot of money on the table tonight. Said it both times. What happened? Again, we might not know the answer to this until the playoffs, but what happens when it's a better team? All I'm saying is we don't know the answers to those questions yet. It is a fair critique. I don't care right. what you say. Your, jack, your hater jacket is nice today. <laughs> Very nice. L let me say this. So battle-tested. That's the word, mm -hmm. right? Battle-tested. Okay. <clears throat> so in football, there's battle-tested moments. Of course. Can I use that? Yeah. Okay, so against the Cardinals, right? They're, they're not doing well, but they make spurts. They do some good plays, some bad plays. Well, when we played them, we had to put them away, right? Now, we watched teams like the Ravens could be undefeated if they learn how to put people away. Battle-tested moments. Mm -hmm. Philadelphia had the moments. Correct. Right? What we do? We put them away. You need that. There's certain games where, uh, like, you get up by points. You get up, you get up. Okay, Cowboys, they came back. They had a, they had a bad first half, second half. They had a, a better second half. Yeah. Philadelphia, we, what do we have to do? They had to put them away. Keep your foot on their neck. Close mm -hmm. the game out. That's one of the things that NFL that people struggle to do, especially teams. It's like, we can be up. It's four quarters. You do good for one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Yep. That's the fourth quarter. And one thing that Philadelphia does best than anybody else in the NFL, we put teams away because we're battle-tested in moments. I'm not disagreeing with that. You I can't disagree with that. No, that's facts. Oh, those were two didn't, nice. that sound, didn't that sound good, America? That sounded great. Those that were, sounded great. Those were two nice moments. But he, here's my thing, Shady. You know this better than okay. anybody okay. is. You can train for situations. You do that in practice. Yeah. We do two-minute drill every practice. Mm -hmm. We do a nine-on-seven every practice. That's, right. that's training for the run. Okay. We do a seven-on-seven seven every practice. That's training for, for the, the pass. pass. Okay. You can do last-minute drills. That's training for literally the last minute. So you can train for situations in practice. What I don't think you can train for <clears throat> in practice, unless you are literally doing good on good, is training to go against a team that has an uber-elite quarterback. Training to go against a team that has weapons out there at the outside. Now, Joy's point that she's making, which I also agree with, there aren't that many people that can test you. But I do not think that undermines the point that the executive is making, that Dave is making, or that I am making, that eventually you will get tested. There might not be a lot of people that can test you, but eventually you will get tested. Dave brings up the point. Dolphins, Bills, in my mind, uh, obviously the Chiefs. In my mind, the Niners. I believe the Cowboys with Dak Prescott. I believe the Giants. Those are all teams I would want to see and consider a test. I would throw the Vikings in there. Again, I don't believe the Vikings are a legitimate playoff but they contender, seven and one, though, bro. Super we, Bowl contender. We got to respect them. They, if we beat a 7-1 and one team, like, that's come on, that's hard to do. How many, how many teams is like, what is it? The, the Bills have two losses. Yeah, it's the, really the Vikings. Seven and one. The Vikings, Vikings have the team. second best record in football. Yeah. That don't count. It no. does, but Shady, you know, I, I just refuse so wait, to wait, sit so here and wait. let you tell me that so, does. So, out of the top teams, who's battle tested? The Chiefs and the Bills and the Dolphins Chiefs, Bills, and, and the Dolphins. Ravens. And I'll throw the so, Ravens in. Ravens okay, so real quick, so I, I think that like the, the divisional games do they count? 
That's the hardest games to play. Your divisional games are the hardest teams to play against. They see you see them twice a year. Say, that doesn't I'm making them, that up. That doesn't make them good. That, that wait, just, oh, wait, oh, wait, am I making that up? I, I believe you were high, I believe you're exaggerating the point. Okay, so now theory, the divisional in, games are not that hard. In theory, you're right, but I believe you're exaggerating. Wait, here's, the what point. here's what bothers me about this conversation. Okay. We've seen teams go on impressive runs before, right? right? Steelers went 11 and 0. What was it? 2020. Oh, yeah. 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 And then bounced. got bounced in the first in the first round. Right. Uh, right. Let's see, uh, Cam Newton, right? With the Which with year? the Panthers, had a, had a great year. Oh, that run the year. Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Uh, the Super Patriots, Bowl. Patriots obviously had an had undefeated lot, had season, went yep. to the Super Bowl. All right, so those teams that went on those incredible runs, the Patriots and the Panthers, I wouldn't consider those to be failures. They made it to the Super Bowl. Correct. So losing in the Super Bowl is acceptable to me. You didn't reach your goal, yep. but can't say they were whack. Like, right. they made it to the Super Bowl. Right. Mm -hmm. The Steelers are a great example because they did go on this incredible run and then got smacked by Baker Mayfield, who's barely a starter, who actually isn't a not starter, a starter is not a starter, <laughs> with the Cleveland Browns. Mm -hmm. Do you, When you look at that Steelers team, does is that what the Philadelphia Eagles look like to me? They lost and like five I, in a row. We won't do that. The, uh, that year they lost like four or no, five they in a ended row. The, they ended the season. Right. Yeah, we're yeah, we not going to do that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, when you look at that team, the way it's constructed, the way the Eagles are constructed, the way that they finish games out, the way that they can win over the top, the way that they can win with long drop. Huh? Was that a wince? They can't, it, it they, can't go, they can't go over the top, I, AJ Brown? No, no, no. It, it was a wince at your earlier question. It was a wince at your earlier question. I believe that these Philadelphia Eagles are a really good team, but I believe these Eagles are more nearly related to those Steelers teams than they are oh, related whoa. to the Patriots no, team. What? Not. No. You, but you think that team was better than the Eagles team right now? No, 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 no. I said more nearly related. I am specific with every word that I use. <laughs> the Patriots team, I talked about it. They have six Hall of Famers on it. That undefeated Patriots team, six. If you want to go Gronk, if you want to count your boy Asante Samuel, not Gronk, if you want to count uh, Randy Moss, Tom Brady, Asante Samuel, Vince Wilfork, the late Junior Seau, and Richard Seymour. Like, I do not think this Eagles team if they go undefeated, is that Patriots team. I well, think the I mean, Eagles team is good. You're saying that, you're saying that because of the, of the players. And Correct. The That's okay. what I'm saying. But I just, like, overall, yeah, we have a solid team together. I, I have a can Mr. I, Hellman? Do I have permission to make Shady jacket, mad? Yes. Make, I want to yes, make Shady may. mad. I think a perfect comparison is the 2016 Dallas Cowboys. That was a complete what? roster with a young quarterback who had help. They could go over the top. They ran the ball phenomenally. Ooh, the, someone yes. did that. They got to the playoffs after going 13 and 3. They started 11 and 1. They went up against a hot Packers team with an amazing quarterback. They went over in the playoffs. But this is my question cuz we keep it we keep ducking this. Who until the Super Bowl are the Eagles going to face? that would put the fear that that Packers team To be honest with you, you. We, I don't think we know the answer to that question right now. No, I think then we do. We, we know all the quarterbacks. I, 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 I think the Niners, I think the, the Cowboys. Those are the only two teams. Those are the only two teams. The Niners, They remember, play the Cowboys. They play the Cowboys so again. So if we beat them, it's, it's all love then. If we beat them, we're going to get all the love. Yes. Our if bet. We beat the Dallas Cowboys. Put that in my notes. With, <laughs> yeah. Put that in your notes. So we hater will, one, hater two. <laughs> we will revisit this again. Do not let him change your mind thinking we're haters. Cowboys, December. We're simply truth tellers. Christmas Eve, baby. Come Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.